Welcome back, Canaanites. Yesterday was sort of dry in terms of news, but today I think we finally have some stuff to talk about, so let's jump right in. Kicking today off will be a discussion about Halo Nightfall. The five-part web series will premiere when Halo, the Master Chief Collection, releases on November 11th and be accessible via in-game menu. Next, let's take a look at the Nightfall poster. It doesn't reveal much, but a heavily damaged Halo ring is very clearly visible. Many, myself included, have concluded that the ring must be part of the original Installation 04. Looking at the opening cinematic of Halo 2, the section of Halo ring on Nightfall's poster looks a lot like the large section seen in this cinematic. Agent Locke is reportedly looking for the Chief and studying his past exploits. Given this, a visit to the remains of Installation 04 wouldn't be out of the question. Nightfall is currently in production with filming completed in Ireland and moving on to Iceland. We'll reportedly see more about Halo Nightfall and how it fits into Halo 5 Guardians at this year's Comic Con. Next up, let's talk a bit about Halo 2 Anniversary's terminals. It has been confirmed that Halo 2 Anniversary's new terminals will follow the actions and story of the Arbiter, chronicling his actions after the events of Halo 3, leading up to Halo 5 Guardians. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. There's just so much more I'd rather see in Halo 2 Anniversary's terminals, notably how the grave mine on Installation 05 formed. We have no idea how that happened, where he got all the biomass. It's very clear that it didn't form after the humans in regret landed on the ring, as the flood outbreak on Installation 04 was barely able to form a proto-grave mine in the time they had. There's also a number of unanswered questions about Halo 2, such as how the Prophet of Regret found Earth but didn't know it was humanity's homeworld, how Regret found Installation 05, why some of the Forerunner architecture on the ring looks the way it does, and so much more. Terminals would have been a great opportunity to explore these huge gaps in the story. Still, I can't say I'm not excited about what 343 will do. Perhaps we'll get a better look at the Sangheili civil conflict that was started during Glasslands and the Thursday War. Hopefully we'll see more about the full-on war between the Sangheili and the Jiral Hanai, first discussed in Halo Evolution's The Return. And who knows, maybe we'll get some backstory on the Gravemind through other means. E3 is over after today, and I'm not really expecting anything big to be revealed. The last two days have been pretty quiet in terms of news, and I expect that that will be the case until at least July, when the San Diego Comic Con drops. So, under this assumption, thank you for following my coverage of Halo's presence at E3 2014. I hope you enjoyed the videos I put together, I certainly enjoyed making them. The next two or three weeks will probably be slow in terms of video production, but will not be devoid of quality content. I have a lot planned out, and Halo Escalation 7 is releasing just two weeks from now. So, until then... This has been Halo Cannon. I'll see you Spartans and Sung Healy next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.